Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, today I am going to update a previous sales funnel or sales pipeline uh, chart demonstration that I had done previously, but this is for Excel 2013. Um, so uh, Excel 2013 has changed a little bit on how you will create your pyramid chart and uh, it's definitely tricky if you can't find it and you don't know what you're doing. Um, a lot of people don't like sales funnel charts just because uh, as you can see um, at the very bottom of the chart you know you've got uh, uh, negotiations is 80 and closed one is 40 and the very bottom spike in the next part is not exactly double it's distorted so um, but a lot of people use, like to use them in their dashboards, so I wanted to show you how to do this in Excel 2013. All right, so let's go over to our data. Okay, so we have our data set up. We want to go ahead and highlight our data. Then we want to go up to our Insert ribbon. And we want to choose, now in the previous uh, Excel 2007 and 2010, you actually had a, an option when you selected uh, the 2D column or 3D column. You actually had an option in here that you could choose pyramid. Um, if you go down to this little selector here where it says see all charts, and you click on it, um, you can go over to the all charts section and you'll notice there's lots of 3D choices here. Uh, but there is nothing for a pyramid over on the uh, left hand side there are under the 3d column charts there's no pyramid chart so difficult for people to find what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and create that 3d stacked column chart that we're going to use for our pyramid um, now you're probably going to want to um, go ahead and uh, change your um, chart at this point in time to stack them because the default based on our layout uh, Excel doesn't understand that we want these stacked differently than how we have them so we need to go over to our uh, click on the chart go to your design ribbon and then switch the row or column now we've got it stacked but once again I want a pyramid I don't want uh, this um, also, I want my prospecting value to be on top and not on bottom, so you'll want to go ahead and select the uh, vertical axis, right click on it, click on format axis, and at the very bottom of the format axis there is this one that says values in reverse order. So now we have our values in reverse order, so we can go ahead and clean this up by just deleting that axis. We can delete all of our grid lines, we can delete this top amount here. Um, and we could also add some, uh, um, Go click on your chart and then go to add chart element and we want to add data labels. So let's just go ahead and add data labels here. Um, now I don't want these to say amount 400. I'm, I'm going to select that and then hit control 1 um, on my label. I'm going to go over to uh, my label options and I'm going to choose the label options. Um, far right one label options and I want to change this to be series name and uh, we've done these as call outs so we could actually move them um, and so if we just click on each one you don't have to actually do uh, every single one of them uh, I'm sorry you have to you don't have to go back and forth into the menu you can just leave it open click on it and change it so that it's uh, being called out appropriately get rid of that one and go to series name and finally we want our last series name to be closed one and the amount all right so we have that all set up um, now the last thing we need to do is let's go ahead and make this the pyramid chart here and so the way you're gonna do that is uh, what you want to do is go ahead and select your chart you want to go up to uh, um, any data series and right click on it click format data series now in your series options under the far right one, so not under the paint or fill, but the far right one that says series options, you will finally see your full pyramid right there. So go ahead and check your full pyramid and your sales pipeline or sales funnel is done. Now, If you don't want it in a 3D format, you can uh, just go in and um, right click on your chart and choose 3D rotation. And then under 3D rotation, you want to change your presets to zero for the X rotation and zero for the Y rotation. And now you have your sales funnel or sales pipeline chart created in Excel 2013. 
just like we had done before, but the real trick to get your pyramid is you want to right click on any data series, do format data series, and then you want to choose a uh, the series options. That's where you're going to find your pyramids. Um, that's where you find your cylinders, cones, other chart types that look like they're just missing in Excel 2013. All right, once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, and tri tricks, and techniques. Also, please sign up for my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.